Do you ever put so much powder on your face it just gets into your eyes and then you like can't see? It's like you've got glaucoma. That's how I feel right now. guys it's Liz how are you all doing today so today's DIY I have been lusting after for quite a wee while on like Instagram and Pinterest and Tumblr and all those other social media sites that just like suck your life force away just lusting over those trays that go on your bath so when you're in your bath you can have a wee glass of wine and put your book there or your tablet or whatever and just relax and it looks like such an easy thing to make so I decided to make one. All the wood that I'm using in this is recycled. Basically we live in Christchurch, there's heaps of building going on because of the earthquake repairs and there's always a skip with some offcuts of wood in it so I just grabbed some offcuts of wood out of the skip and that was a very long explanation for that. So let's get the video started. Okay, so the type of wood I have are fence palings. It's perfect for this kind of job because they're treated for outdoor use, so it doesn't matter if they get wet. Now, the width of my bath is 100 centimeters, so basically cut two lengths of uh, wood to 100 centimeters. I just clamped it to the table. I'm just using a handsaw. It's super easy. I was so super proud of myself. You have no idea. I was like, yeah, get through that. Go Liz. This piece is a one by two inches. Now we're just gonna cut that into three even lengths. The way you discover how long you need that length is, measure those two pieces of wood and take off approximately three centimeters. It'll just make your life so much easier, trust me. So measure out three lengths of, what was it? 28 centimeters each and yeah, just clamp that to the table and chop it up. Oh my god, and I am so in love with the tune this week. Oh, such a good tune. Right, so seems these are fence palings. They haven't been sanded yet, so just grab a mouse sander and just go over all the edges with it. Um, it just makes it look a lot better and it makes it feel a lot better because God forbid you like brush your knee up against like an unsanded piece of wood in the bath. Ugh, gross. Okay, so the way we are going to measure out how to put it together is a little bit awkward, but you can see what I'm doing here. So basically, the two side pieces need to be two inches in from the top. Does that make sense? You can see what I'm doing, basically. The side pieces are two inches in, and then the middle piece is in the middle. Just pop the two pieces of wood on top and clamp it to the table you could make your life a heck of a lot easier and glue it together and it would just make measuring so much easier but I'm Liz and I couldn't be bothered gluing it I don't know why and once you have awkwardly figured that out just grab your nails and start bashing them in and yep I haven't put a nail in for a long time so I did it a little bit awkwardly but I kept going, I persevered, I persevered and the ones I did really gammy I still left there because I thought it looked good. Now, if you want to stain this, you will at least need to oil it, but if you want to stain this, now's the time to do that. Uh, these brushes from the dollar store are complete crap, so that's why I poured it on so liberally because the brushes are just shit. Yep. Just make sure you get all the edges. Just take your time, get all the edges. I only did one coat and I was happy with the um, level of color. Oh yes, don't forget those bad boys under there. Now, you can either just oil it after you've stained it or if you're lucky, you will have some Annie Sloan soft wax and dark flying around, which is like my favorite freaking thing ever, and you will pop that on. Now, just grab a rag, don't worry about getting a brush, just 
the way you put this on is you just grab a handful and just smear it over everywhere. You want to treat this like it was your skin and you are moisturizing it because it's the middle of winter and it feels like crap. And then you're just going to rub all that moisturizer in and you're going to be like, oh my god, I've got new skin. Like, literally, new skin. Now, the cool thing with this wax, because it is dark, what you can do is get it in all those little nooks and crannies and it just sort of gives it an extra bit of dimension. It looks so cute. So how easy was that, guys? Like, I mean, come on. I did that all by myself with my wonky ass table and my little hand saw and I just I made it work. Also, just side note, because I'm slightly embarrassed, our bathroom, yes, looks like crap. It hasn't been fixed yet. It's not a money thing. It's dealing with the insurance companies and it's just a pain in the ass. So yeah, that's why my bathroom looks real crappy. But you know, the bath tray just sort of elevated it and gave it a little bit more class. So, you know. Also, I just have to say, as of this morning, I hit 100 subscribers, so thank you guys, much appreciated, um, I'm super stoked, so yeah, please keep subscribing and give me the thumbs up and the lovely comments, I will respond to everybody, so yeah, thank you so super much guys, it has been an awesome week and I'll be back next week with something new and fun to make, and I'll see you next time, bye!